not only did he bear the stigmata, which is also known as the wounds of Christ, Padre Pio's body is still incorrupt even after 51 years following his death. I am so excited to be here guys. Oh my god, finally we're here. It's been a long night but we finally made it and yeah, thanks be to God. My face is all shiny but you know what? I feel good, I feel great and I can't wait to have a shower. So I'll see you guys later, yeah? for people hope you guys are doing well so it's a lovely morning today and off we go to the pilgrimage I got my lenses ready so it's about to be fun yes hope you guys are having a good time Padre Pia was born Francesco Fargino on May 25th in 1887 and voluntarily undertook penances such as sleeping on the stone even when young. Padre Pio's body was laid to rest in the Church of Our Lady of Grace. Saint Pio of Pietrucina was a Capuchin Catholic priest from Italy who is venerated as a saint. During his lifetime, he became known for bearing the stigmata. His followers attributed several miracles to his intervention. Other people, including those from within the Catholic Church, were more skeptical about his supernatural experiences. However, despite being scrutinized by the church during much of his life, his reputation rose during the papacy of John Paul II. Padre Pio was canonized on the 16th of June 2002. The tomb where Padre Pio's body was first laid to rest after he died. Many people come here and write their prayers, asking for graces and intercessions.
These are the clothes that Padre Pio wore while he was still alive. And this is his room where he used to live. As you can see the shoes and the glass, they are all filled with blood and they're still stained with blood from his wounds. Padre Pia died at 2.30 a.m. in the morning and the wall clock in his room stopped working. As you can see in his room, people slip their petitions through the door and just leave it there, asking for graces and intercessions. This is where Padre Pio and Pop John Paul sat when they were having their conversations. There's been so many speculations that Padre Pio told Pop John Paul II that he was going to be the Pope. But if you actually go into detail, you will find out that Pop John Paul was the only Pop who Padre Pio entrusted with the most private details of his stigmata. It's like Padre Pio was talking directly to the soul of one who God had ordained would be Pop. The church being small and not enough to fit in all the pilgrims that were coming to pray and leave their petitions, he was later removed from the tomb and put on display in a bigger church that was built called St. Peter's Basilica. Padre Pio said that his work will begin after his death and he will be more popular after his death. And so it was. Hundreds and hundreds of people come here every year to see the Padre Pio Shrine. The exhumed body of Saint Padre Pio lies in a glass sepulchre in the crypt of the Saint Shrine in San Giovanni Rotondo, southern Italy. guys so you know we are just now getting our lunch break and for all this trip that I've been here for the past few days well today's the first day but yeah I have actually not seen any black person I think it's because maybe it's a village and stuff like that but either way we're having a good old time and I've done bought some little goodies so not all bad it's gonna go have some lunch now and see what's next on the agenda Above all, he encouraged his Christian followers to seek to do the will of God and be detached from personal desires. One famous saying of his was, pray, hope and don't worry.
Hello, hello. The first day has gone really well. You know, I was expecting it to be too much, but it's just perfect. I've enjoyed myself. Best trip of the year so far. Yeah. You guys have to come to San Giovanni, Italy, and check it out because. It's worth your money, it'll be literally worth your money and you have some nice stories to tell, so, yep. Hope you guys are well. It's me again and I'm back. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's been a good day, you know. So today um, was mainly focused on Padre Pio. Okay, yes, today was mainly focused on Padre Pio and it went really well. I saw the different shrines that you know they have for him and I saw his body as well guys I actually saw his body he still looks like he just died and this guy died what year 1968 it's crazy but that's God that just goes to show you that there's, there's a God out there but I got to see him and that's today for a few minutes I actually went back for seconds as well that's how good I felt about it but yeah that's this is my balcony and just chilling you know about to do some work now and then shower and then bed but yes first day done everything was really good so roll on the second day I'm actually excited about this the weather is so nice oh thank you Lord perfect time to come here but yeah 